Hello! Sometimes I get the question, what kind of care do you take on an overnighter? So I thought, why not um, show you what I have in my backpack before I start with this overnighter. So let me take out all of the care. I'll put it on the ground and I will show it to you. If you hear an airplane above, uh, that's normal where I live. Even at the forest part of, the, of nature, you have airplanes coming over. So don't mind that. You will hear them a lot more. But for now, I will get the stuff out of my backpack. Here it is. Everything that is inside my bag. And I will sit down and show you all the stuff separately. Okay, let me start with the backpack. It's uh, from the brand Carry More, and uh, it's a 20 liter day pack. And I, one year ago I bought it in Japan, and I like it. I like it a lot. It's um, it's nice features. You have a side zipper, so you can reach into your backpack without emptying it. There's also small zipper on top. You can put your stuff you want directly, like your first aid kit. It's very roomy, it's just one part. Also a nice compartment for some stuff you want to put inside. So that's the, the backpack. Really, really loving it. Okay, this is the Ticket to the Moon one person hammock. And it uh, comes attached with those hooks already, and both sides, it's like sort of silk nylon, it's very small, very nice. Then sleeping bag, it's my summer sleeping bag, I just bought it a week ago, I used it once and I really loved it, it's from the company So believes so believes i uh, bought it from amazon and it's a it's a duck down fill it's only 700 grams and it's comfort rating it's like 10 10 degrees it says 10 degrees celsius so very compact very nice for a bug net from uh, the xenos i thought it's a dutch shop i just bought this simple Puck net, but I made some adjustments. I at the bottom I put in some elastic cordage so it can fit tightly around the hammock and also around an air mattress if I use it when I sleep on the ground. But I prefer to sleep in a hammock. Also, from Ticket to the Moon, I have the tree hackers and nice traps. They don't work into the tree, they're like white. They're a bit bulky, they you have smaller ones, but for now it will use. A little bit of cordage to make a ridge line to put my bug net on. I have an air pillow from the Decathlon. It's a four class, it's very nice. It's very small and it's very soft. Uh, for water, I only brought one bottle of water, but that's not enough. But I also brought the knock. It's recently new, just used it once. Like like it very much. If you open it, you have a big opening at the top to scoop the water. And I will use my Sawyer Mini to filter the water. So. I think in a few minutes, when I'm finished with all the gear, I'm going to the water side and get me some extra water. We have some white wipes, you know why. Um, my first aid kit, your small things. Mirror, it's also nice, we have something in your eye, you cannot see it. Um, some bandages, some painkillers. Just typical standard standard things. Um, for my food, it's my breakfast, a little snack, coffee is inside. For the evening, some pre-cooked pasta, 
with some carbonata sauce and some extra cheese. I brought two beers. And a small pouch I also bought in Japan just for some things you always use like a spoon, my light, a little lighter, the light I can hang up on the ridge line. It's very nice. My Opinel knife, small knife, don't need a big knife when I'm out on a lightweight camping. Uh, some some metal straw f for the fire but I don't need a fire tonight because the temperature is very nice it's like 20 degrees Celsius now and in the night it will only drop I think 7 degrees so it would be like 13 in the night so and they say the weather forecast said it's gonna stay dry so I didn't uh, brought any tarp or any protection so <laughs> fingers crossed but a little bit of rain will do. I like this way of um, camping very uh, camping light, wild camping, and do it very light because with a small backpack uh, you, you don't get noticed that that well. And I don't use camouflage clothes or something in big backpacks, so the the ranger will see. Uh, what are you gonna do? So low profile, just like a normal guy walking through the woods, watching some birds. That's it. So that's my gear. And I will show you how to uh, put the hammock up with small. Oh, I just forgot something. My cook set. Oh. I have some alcohol with an alcohol burner, the Trangia cup for the coffee in the morning. I have a small towel to clean, to do the dishes, small pan, a handle, and I have this Trendia, Trendia cooking stand that I made myself, so it's very light, it works great. You put it under, put the pan on it, some alcohol in, and you can cook. Oh, for clothing, I brought only one shirt if it's get a little bit colder into the night but I don't think I need it and a small hat for when it's get cold but it's when it's getting cold in the night so this is all my stuff and uh, it weighs in uh, six kilos so I think that's about 13 pounds so six kilos is very nice I can walk with it around and after finishing the meal and some drinks it will get only get lighter so back to setting up the hammock when I'm looking for a place to hang up the hammock I'm looking for two trees and they're like four meters between the trees that's a nice nice average can be wider depends on how wide the trees are but four meters those trees are very small but they will do the other one is over there and you have to check them if they stay if there are no dead branches above me that can drop down called the widow makers so this one is very fresh fresh tree above me so putting down the three huggers when I put them down the first one I will place them here about 30, 30 centimeters above my shoulder. That's the nice height to start with to get the nice curve. Well, I'll show you. So, so as you can see, this came only with one opening and I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 10, 12 knots. So I can adjust the hammock myself. I do the other side.
think this is really okay. Let me see. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. There was a guy on the internet and he, uh, I watched him to learn about hammer camping. And he taught me, um, he taught me this. It was a very nice trick. If you put your finger like a pistol and you put it here, uh, you can see my thumb, thumb is touching the upper side and my pointing finger down. And like this, it's almost 45 degrees. If it's, it's a little bit, but it's a little bit off, but if it's 45 degrees, then you have a nice curve. When I started out hammock camping, my first hammock had only two cordage. You put around the tree and you put them back and you fix a nut. But the problem with that was even uh, with, a, with a tarp above, uh, the water will come down to the cordage and will eventually go into your hammock. So I woke up totally wet, but you learn. So that's when I bought the tree hockers, because when you hook it in, and you can also uh, put a carabiner on here and you use that to lock in. And this will, fun will function as a water dropper because the water will go down, will not pass the hook or the Caribbean, but will take the way down at this quarter. So you will be dry. I like the hammock because I sleep so well in it. And uh, later on, I will show you how you can sleep diagonal. Um, but I first want to share another tip because the hammock is also a chair. You don't have to bring another chair because you can sit down and relax. But after a while, this material will get into your knee holes. And that's a bit irritating if you sit in, sit in it for a longer time. So I also uh, saw a tip the man gave uh, on the YouTube channel I watched. Uh, I don't remember which channel it was, but he gave a lot of tips. And one of them was if you stand up, you take the material, and you will fold it inside and then you sit down and as you can see there's no material in your needles and you can sit like a king it's, it's it's good if you want to cook something you can sit up so another tip for free let me get the rest of the setup Okay, how to lay in a hammock. Uh, most of the people when you start hammock camping, uh, you just step in and lay in like this. Look, just legs there in the middle and your head on the other side. But then you lay like a banana. And uh, if you lay like a banana, your feet are in the air and you will have to pee more in the middle of the night. So instead of laying like a banana, you have to lay diagonal. Di it's a div oh, diff difficult word. Diagonal. Diagonally. Diagonal. Diagonal. If you want to lay flat, you have to lay diagonal. <laughs> like this. Okay. Put your feet to the left. And you put your head to the right. And then, as you can see, hopefully you can see good, you lay totally flat. Oh, and you can even lay sideways or put your arm under. So it's nice to lay this way. I think it's tip number three. We all set up, take a beer and relax. Cheers. And the nicest thing about a hammock is the view. You're totally open so you can see everything. And you're off the ground. Most of the time when you lay quiet, birds will come closer 
sometimes deer will come close. So maybe if we are lucky tonight. And you can see the canopy of trees and between a little bit of sunshine and a blue sky. So nice view. Love it. Two predator birds are flying above to the trees, they're looking down, they cannot figure out what it is. Mm-hmm. Cacciatelli carbonara.
Mm -hmm. Normally, when I go with the hammock in the winter, I use an underquilt. But in the summer, it's not necessary because if you have a sleeping bag, we can open the food box. You can do this. You unhook the hammock. Yeah, hook it back on. I think it works better if you put it out on this side. Yes, that's much better. That's it. Okay. Let's put on the bug net. Let's take off the shoes. And then you take up the sleeping bag and it works both ways. You have a top, sorry, you have a top and you have an underquill and you can sense it up. So it stays in place, you can get under and you can get in like a cocoon. There was a deer just running in and he was scared. And then he went away and he started barking. So I hope we'll do it again, but... I think he's gone. <sighs> that is the sound. A barking deer. Good morning. It's six o'clock and I went to sleep at nine o'clock. Woke up at one to take a pee and then woke up at six. So that's some beautiful hours. Lovely night. Time to get up, get some coffee, get an early start and walk out of here. Got a couple of deer. <laughs> there they go. I have the boiling water. Let's make some coffee. Coffee time. Let it cool down a little bit. They're still here. 
They're curious, but they're afraid to come. It was an older deer with a younger one. Nice. Maybe they will come back. Oh, they're still there. <laughs> you hear them. You hear the barking noise. That's when they don't know what's going on over there. It's like a warning sound. And again. Let me see. Where are they? Oh yeah, I can see them, but it's difficult for you to see them. Maybe, maybe they will come closer. Let's give them a second. Mm. Oh, great coffee. And the deer is still there. As you can hear. It's too afraid to come back. Oh, there it goes. Maybe you can see it from here. Standing there. And you can see it through the bush. Let's get a little bit closer. There they go, again. <laughs> Every time I go to them, they walk away, but when I take a sit back, they come back. For breakfast, I did it easy. Just made a double wrap with cheese. The nice thing about hammock camping is when you clap your hands two times, everything is in your backpack. It only works with a hammock, it doesn't work with a tent, so you can try it out. Clap your hands two times, everything in the backpack. Let's go.